What is up, everyone? You guys are used to seeing this, this little gaming setup. And the reason why I'm in this gaming setup is I want to talk to you right now about YouTube gaming. They just released on their blog side or blog post, whatever, the YouTube official blog, blog.youtube.whatever, what their plans are for the gaming side of things going into 2022, which means here in November, we should start at 2022 early. I think we should get started now so that when people start getting involved January 1st, we've already been doing things for the next couple of months. Guys, get started with me, but let's jump into it. They gave us some stats. 2021, so far, we have 800 billion gaming related video views. I'm reading it. 90 million hours of live stream content and 250 million gaming videos uploaded. That's a lot of stuff. And what they're committing to do is they're trying to play a little bit of catch up here, right? So Twitch already has a bunch of stuff set up. Twitch is like the number one gaming thing that they, they got their stuff. They got their community. They have their thing. And they've been hearing the gamers screaming and yelling and all the videos about why Twitch is better or why YouTube is better. And they are responding with three huge, big catch up things, right? Thing number one they're gonna do is gifted membership. So that's the thing that happens on Twitch. You can gift subs and those memberships allow for people to make additional income. I have memberships. If you wanna be a member, feel free to become a member, but they're gonna in they're gonna start implementing gifted memberships. So the next thing they're gonna do is something they've renamed. I can't find it in the article, but it's basically raids. So what happens is at the end of your video, if you're like, hey guys, okay, we're, we're shutting it down, let's go and let's fill someone else's lobby. If your audience is still wanting to watch a live, some live content, you can go and find someone else who's live streaming and basically have your audience go over there and share your audience with them. And that is a great way for more creators to get more visibility. And it's an awesome way for people to grow their audience and share and create this really awesome community online. And last is they want to start to invest more in the chat experience. The chat experience on YouTube is lacking. It is, la it is not as fun, it's not as exciting as you'd find something on Twitch, but they are recognizing and they're hearing that and they're collaborating or listening to some of the big creators. I mean, we got two huge creators jumping from Twitch and signing exclusive contracts with YouTube and they've mentioned them in the video and they are working with them to try to figure out how to make the community feel similar if not better than the Twitch community. Now here's the big one and here's the reason why again now is the time to get involved. They are going to help with content creation tools and YouTube is great for discoverability. You still have some huge holes when it comes to that. Something that has been massive for my channel specifically is shorts. I, I made a couple shorts that blew up and gained me a truckload of subscribers. I have one in particular that's all about a controller and it has over 3 million views and I've gained 6,000 subscribers from it. I mean, this short, it's a 59 second video that I filmed on my iPhone. What you're watching right now is on a $5,000 camera setup, but that one video as of now has granted me a third of my subscriber base. That's the kind of discoverability we want. That's the kind of discoverability we need as a gaming channel. So what they're doing is they're allowing you to take your live streams, turn them into VODs, that's already a thing, clip out sections of those VODs, turn them into shorts and monetize them. Of course, monetization rules apply. You have to have certain thresholds. We'll talk more about that later in another video, but that is massive. That is huge. The fact that they are figuring out ways for you to utilize and leverage shorts to clip out your content and to make money off of it and the fact that they are having the short initiative or you can get shorts bonuses guys now is the time to start your gaming channel and i want to help you as much as possible comment below any questions you have let's get excited about it because i am going to show you how to make the right moves when it comes to starting your gaming channel and we can start off by just these three right here these are the three video styles you're going to want to try to start your youtube channel right all right guys happy gaming